Welcome to Any Masks. I'm Any Guy. In this video, we are providing a more detailed description of Any Masks and sharing some advice and tips that we hope will be useful in making your own Any Masks. If you are looking for step by step instructions on how to sew Any Masks, please check out the Any Mask channel. Any Gal is super talented, but wanted me to share that she's not a trained seamstress. She loves to make things, and one of her hobbies is sewing and developing new patterns. She first started sewing face masks in March 2020. She doesn't sell any masks or the any masks pattern. We are sharing these videos so anyone can use any gal's approach for free. Any masks are cloth, non-medical face coverings. They are intended to be made with breathable cotton fabric. Any masks fit close on the sides of the face with no gaps and completely cover the nose and mouth. Any masks have two layers of cloth with a pocket to add and insert for an optional third layer. The sides have a space for you to choose your preferred way of wearing the mask using ties or elastics. You can add a nose wire to help decrease eyeglass fogging. The nose wire can come out for cleaning and you can easily clean any masks in a normal washing machine and dryer. Before washing, tuck the sides into the pocket and use a delicates bag if you have one. Any gal and I have streamlined this process as much as possible while retaining all the features we think are essential. With any masks, you can avoid several things. One is trimming. Most of the threads end up on the inside when the mask is turned right side out. Also, you avoid clipping the fabric along curves because the sewing is mostly in straight lines. You can also avoid using a lot of pins. You can use as few as two to four pins total per mask. You can also avoid ironing. You can iron to make it neater, but you don't need to press out and top stitch any seams. You can also avoid worrying about leaving an opening or gap to turn it right side out that has to be sewn again later. And you can avoid having to top stitch unless you don't add the line of stitching for the nose wire, then a top stitch is needed. Any masks work the same whether upside down or reversed. That's why it's called any mask, because any is a palindrome, which is the same spelled forward or backwards, and the word any looks the same when it is upside down. Also, we have family ties to Malaysia, and I and I, pronounced eni, is the word for this in the Malay language, so eni mask means this mask. Patterns and templates for any mask are available through a link to a PDF in every video's description. The pattern pieces are not hard to draw. It's all straight lines. Each pattern piece fits onto a piece of regular US office paper. You can also trace a paper towel if you want to pin it to the fabric. It's very easy to use a cereal box for the pattern pieces, and they will last longer and are easier to trace around than paper. Any masks can be worn with either the big piece or the little piece facing forward. We like to use two different patterns of 100% cotton fabrics. That way, if you have to take it off during a given day, it's easy to remember which side goes towards your face. If you use the same fabric for both pieces, you can tell the difference between the big and little pieces and just keep the same piece toward your face. There are only two pattern pieces for each mask size, a big piece that is cut on the piece of doubled or folded fabric and a small piece. There is also a template you can use to mark the angles for the nose and chin darts. The pattern pieces are designed to butt up right next to each other, so you can cut on one line between the two pieces, so there is little fabric waste. In order for the pattern to be repeatable, it is also symmetrical. However, you don't use the top inch of the big piece, and you could always just cut the top inch off the pattern piece. Any gal has made three sizes so far, but the pattern could be easily changed by adjusting the height of the side edges. The medium size fits most faces. The large size works well for people who want a little more coverage. There's a good amount of room to fit over a beard. The small size is good for kids. If you use fat quarters that measure 18 inches by 22 inches, you can easily get two medium masks out of one fat quarter. Once you fold the fabric in half along the 22 inch side, the fabric is 11 inches tall and 18 inches across. You can also get two large masks out of a fat quarter, 
but it is right on the edge and probably won't fit if you pre-wash your fabric and it shrinks a little. The small pattern will fit if you fold the fabric in half along the 18 inch side of the fat quarter. And that way you can get three masks out of one fat quarter, but you end up with an extra little pattern piece. If you want to use a thicker fabric like denim, limit this to the little piece. Because the little piece is not being doubled over for the side tabs, it's okay if the little piece is a little thicker. The little piece is also good to use when you only have a little of a nice fabric that you know you want to wear facing outwards. Then you can use something simpler for the big pattern piece. Cotton bed sheets or pillowcases work well for making the big pattern piece. You can use two different fat quarters and make four masks at a time so that the big and little pieces have contrasting patterns. Sewing in batches helps increase your efficiency. For each step, chain one piece right after the other without lifting the needle. This allows you to go faster and to have less thread waste. Time-wise, starting with cutting out of the pattern all the way to adding the finishing ties, with practice, you can get four mats done in under an hour. The tabs on either side have an opening that is wide enough for a crochet hook, safety pin, paper clip, etc. to easily insert whatever method of attachment you want, whether you prefer ear loops or ties that go around the back of your head. If you don't have elastic, it's easy to cut half-inch strips of t-shirt material and stretch to make soft ties. Don't use long ties for young kids. Instead, make adjustable ear loops or use elastic. Those were some details and tips to answer some questions that might come up about any masks. We want to thank every person who has ever used their time and talents to teach others how to make fabric non-medical face masks. We've been so inspired by all the different types of tutorials, and our hope is that this will be helpful to our fellow mask makers who will continue to build upon these designs and develop new ideas so that we can all keep making better and better masks together. Thank you.